Catholic pro-life advocate Mark Houck attended last night's State of the Union. The father of seven faced federal charges after the Justice Department claimed that he forcefully shoved a Planned Parenthood volunteer in Philadelphia. Last week, a jury found him not guilty. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales recently spoke with a pro-lifer. He began by asking about the day the FBI showed up at his doorstep. So, Mark, talk to me about that day, September 23rd, 2022, when the FBI came in, guns drawn on your family. Yeah, I'll never forget it. It was 6.45 in the morning, and uh, it was dark, as, as it is in the fall in Philly. It was cold. I was in the kitchen, and I heard a banging at the door, very heavy banging. And the doorbell rang repeatedly. So the whole house is being alarmed at this point. But they didn't announce who they were. They just said, open up. Mark tells me after he asked what's going on, agents eventually yelled it was the FBI to open up. As I opened up the door, I showed them my hands because I knew that would be important. And what I saw was nothing I could have ever anticipated. Fifteen marked and unmarked units surrounding my house all the way down to 100 yards to the road where I live. Five or six federal agents on my porch. M16s pointed at me, heavily armored vests, ballistic helmets, ballistic shields, a battering ram. So if I didn't open the door, they were coming in. And I came out and I said, what are you, what are you doing here? My attorney said five months ago, if you're going to indict my client, no need to bring an agent out to his house, an agent. We'll bring him down. He's a peaceful man. He'll just, we'll show up. And they knew where I was every Wednesday. They could have come and got me on the street. They wanted to scare me, they wanted to humiliate me, they wanted to intimidate me and my family and, and instill fear in pro-life America. Mark tells me he was cuffed and was shackled from his ankles to around his belly and chained to a table for six plus hours. They thought their case was so flimsy that they offered me a plea two weeks before the trial. Basically it was a slap on the wrist. So I said no, of course, because I'm an innocent man and my wife wouldn't let me come home if I had said yes anyway. And we wanted to get case law on the books for pro-lifers. After being acquitted by a jury, now with the help of the Thomas More Society, he plans to sue the FBI. He's also interviewing with the House Judiciary Committee later this month to eventually testify on Capitol Hill on the weaponization of federal law enforcement agencies against conservative organizations and individuals. What message do you want to give to the other pro-lifers out there? Don't be afraid. Now, don't let my story be your excuse not to engage in the cultural war, to, to fulfill your call as, as Christians, as Catholics, to, to go and stand in the gap, as Bishop Olmsted would say, into the breach. Just go and, and allow yourself to be used by God in a mighty way. And don't let what happened to me uh, deter you, because now we have case law that will support you and, and protect you, and we have the Thomas More Society, who's the Calvary, right beside you. As for heading back and continuing his mission as a pro-life counselor outside that Philadelphia abortion clinic, he says this week will be the first time back on the same sidewalk since the incident. It's probably the greatest thing I've ever done with my life, being able to intervene with a child ready for termination uh, and then being able to hold that child, bring that child to my home and have dinner with that family has been so life-giving. I mean, you save a soul, you save your own soul. So to me, it's soul-saving work. I mean, I, I cannot think of any more important work on the face of the earth. Following the defeat of Roe, House acquittal in Philadelphia federal court marks another major blow to the Biden administration's pro-abortion agenda. He tells me he's urging all Catholics to pray because the battle to save the unborn has just kicked into high gear and it will likely get harder. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.